So two more things that I use quite commonly for uh, string manipulation is split and replace. So split allows you to turn a string into a list, which actually is, is really useful more often than you think. So what we've got here is we've got a string of letters. Now, if I wanted that to be stored as a list, so I'm going to say uh, list um, letters equals, I'm going to do letters dot split. So split means try and split it into a list and hopefully we'll therefore end up with our letters being separated into different parts of that list. But I'm going to show you why that's not working at the start and then I'll show you how to fix it. So if I run this, it's, uh, I'll print out the wrong thing, sorry. Print out list of letters. When I run this, you can see it's turned into a list, but the problem is it's put all of the data into position one in the list, which isn't actually gonna be any more useful than leaving it as a string. So typically what you'd have is you might have spaces it's probably the most common when you receive a load of data that's separated maybe from a file or you've got different lines from a file or whatever it might be when we've got it we can split it and it will end up like this so then we've got them and then whatever we want to do with that list it's easier to manipulate in the list than it might be a string if you want to move things around want to add to want to delete all the things that we've gone through in previous videos however you won't always get it in this lovely form. You might find that actually, sometimes it's more commonly separated by commas, especially if it's something that might have previously been stored in a list, but then you wrote it to a file. So if you get something like this, when I run it, that again is all in position one. But if there is a certain thing that is what we call a delimiter, so something that separates the values, it doesn't have to be a comma, can be anything a space a colon whatever it might be we can write what it is in here and then it will try and find it as it's split in the list so if i put in here speech marks comma when i run it it's looked for the comma and that's where it's chosen how to separate out the values so you can put anything in here so if i said instead of that i had a capital z every time When I put a capital Z in there and I run it, it still worked. Because it's just used that as the, the thing to separate the values out. So that split, obviously with easier data, it will usually just be spaces and that's dead straightforward. So the other one is replace. So with replace, if I go back to um, here, just to keep it simple. so. With replace, we can replace something in our string with something else very easily. So if, for example, I wanted to do uh, letters dot replace, and this will replace throughout the entire thing. So if we've got multiple versions of something, so I'm going to replace the letter D with um, a capital X. So when I run it, it's now replaced the D with a capital X. If it had more than one D, I'll put two either side of the G, it replaces all of them. So it doesn't find the first instance, it will go through and any time it finds a letter D, it's replaced it with an X. So dot replace can be really, really useful. Like for example, before, you know, I had that list with all the capital Z's in, which was a bit weird. I could have done dot replace to swap those Z's for spaces very, very quickly. So dot replace, and dot split are two of my most commonly used things to manipulate strings.